All right, well, let's start with what's your name? Sunshine Sullivan. Ariel. And what brings you out to the Bernie Sanders rally today in D.C. about five days before the very last primary of this season? I have been waiting for Bernie to get to D.C. Because I live in D.C. and I know that D.C. is going to turn out and show that this is not Hillary territory just because people believe that it is. And because Obama's here and everybody thinks they're going to side with Hillary because Obama and they have some kind of connection. No, we want Bernie Sanders. I waited. I watched all of the rallies in all of the other cities. It's always hype. He has so much support. And now it's my turn to show up and scream Bernie and spell Bernie. And I'm going to put up a big sign and yell and hope that he doesn't give up. Where do you think this Bernie movement goes, whether Bernie wins or loses? Where do you want to see his energy, the energy of the people who have voted for him, who follow him, who support him? Where does it where do we go from here? Um, we don't stop fighting, first and foremost. Everybody thinks that, you know, at least the media wants us to think that, oh, once Bernie's out, God forbid he's out, that, oh, we're just going to go back to the status quo. No, he's he's incited change. Like my thing is this whole uh, coverage of like the primaries has been rigged from the beginning. Like. The media is owned, 90% of the media we watch is owned by six companies. They want Hillary to win. So they're making it seem like Bernie's out. They're making it seem like Bernie is done and that you know he didn't have that much of a following. Meanwhile, they're blacking out when he, like um, in California, I believe it was California, where like over half a million people came out and like sold out the whole studio, I mean stadium, to you know see him. So where do you see, what do you think Bernie supporters will be doing in November? Well. Um, let's before we get to November let's get to July I'm going to Philly to the convention I'm gonna stand outside and scream and let the DNC know that I will never support Hillary and I'm not the only one and if they want Trump I won't support Hillary and if they want Trump in the White House then go ahead and elect Hillary as the nominee and you're gonna get Trump because I'm I'm sure that many of us can never rally behind Hillary after we've seen an honest person come out like Bernie Sanders. This has never happened. Every politician has been liar, liar, liar. And now we get burnt, right, including Trump. But Hillary can't beat Trump. Bernie Sanders can. And so if they want Trump to be the nominee, go ahead, to be the president, go ahead and stick with your status quo establishment candidate, Hillary. If you want a Democrat in the White House, you need to listen to the people and elect Bernie Sanders. So it sounds clear to me that if Bernie is the nominee, you all will, of course, vote for him in November. Absolutely. If Hillary is the nominee, you will vote for? I'm actually on the fence about it because it's, to me, it's two evils. Like, I do not like Hillary Clinton. I can't stand Hillary Clinton, but I don't like Trump either. Like, my thing is, if we have Trump as president, we're probably looking at martial law. We're probably looking at, um, you know, a nuclear war because his foreign policies are some garbage. And um, also, I just feel like we're going to get a, like a rise in, like, you know, racist attacks and stuff because that's what, that's Trump's, like, main audience. He incites hateful rhetoric like he's taking his like speech like t like tactics directly from Hitler so we're going to be looking at something down the barrel of a new holocaust and Frank's own sister said we've seen this before what about you um I haven't really decided what I'm going to do I know that I'm not going to vote for Hillary ever in my life she caused too much damage to black families her with their 94 crime bill I just can never support Hillary Clinton um I feel like I survived Bush. I can probably survive Trump. I can survive Trump better than I can Hillary. I just can't. So I'm going to look at other options. Maybe um, Jill. Everybody's trying to rally behind Jill. I'm just. Jill wants my, Bernie, just in right. case. Like, Jill wants Bernie, She's just in case. To get Bernie, but Bernie's such a man of integrity. He's like, I'm not going to run independent. He made that promise, so he's sticking to it. I'm hoping that he just, for once, says, like, I'm not going to stick to my promise because he made that promise based on the fact that this would be fair, and it wasn't. So since it hasn't been fair, he needs to break that promise and run independent. I'm going to do whatever gonna, Bernie suggests gonna... other than supporting Hillary. If he tells us to support Hillary, I'm just going to ignore it. I would never support Hillary ever, 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 for any reason. Trump before Hillary in my eyes. I can't agree with her. Um, the thing is, though, if he does run, oh, sorry. Let's he, get a little closer, too, because I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pull no, you. No, but. you're good. No, um, if Trump actually, um, no, if Bernie runs independently, he's going to split the Democratic vote, making it easier for Trump to win. That's you know, and my thing is, like I said before, I'm actually very afraid of what Trump could do to this country. I'm very afraid. Like, most of the stuff he says is BS. 
Like he like he preys on like the insecurities of lower middle class like white men. Like um, there are people who like support Trump and have been to like the conventions and they still get their asses kicked and called racial slurs. Like he's not for me. He's not for minorities. Period. And my thing is with Hillary, like I don't like one. She like less than ten years ago she called us super predators. Like anybody under the age of thirty. Two, like she's been chucking and jiving just to prove that like she's one of us. Like she, she was. Got sauce in her bag. Yeah, I, I don't give a shit. I really don't. Like th- that's great. Good for you. Like, I don't know why. I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know where she thought hot sauce was like this ancient spiritual like you know Negro staple, but I it's know. not. That's not the case. All the Negroes eat hot sauce. No shillery, killery. We don't all eat hot sauce. Water Malone. <laughs> I don't understand. I call it killery. Oh, That's what she is. All right, the line is moving. Thank you, ladies, so much.